Please get out while you drift away True love and genuine happiness You know I'm never gonna ask for more than this So please don't be surprised when I say to you Darling, it's alright I'm not going anywhere, I wanna be right by your side Darling, it's alright I'm not going anywhere, I wanna be right by your side Music makes me and everyone, I guess, feel something and feel uh, it has the opportunity to, to connect people, I guess. Uh, so for me, playing music, uh, I, I love it when you see the whole crowd unite and you can feel that everyone's here for the same reasons. Uh, and some nights it's not like that and you definitely feel that as well. You, you, can, you can sense that everyone's kind of in their own little area and they're not in that moment together. Uh, so I think I, I love that music can unite and, and bring people together. Yeah. I think super important. Um, uh, I am very thankful that, that I grew up in a small town uh, uh, and there was uh, not much music education but enough that you could, could kind of try a few things out and, and I'm so thankful for that because yeah I, I, did, I wouldn't be doing this if, if I uh, didn't have that opportunity uh, as a kid. Thirteen sad farewells my darling Thirteen sad farewells I'm trying to uh, encourage my nieces and nephews. I, I buy them a little musical instrument every now and then, and, and uh, my sister's not too happy because they, they wander around with a harmonica around the house. And, but uh, I think it, one day, I think they'll be amazing little musicians. So uh, I think education is a big part of it. No, no. The only time I play is really on stage, yeah. I see music uh, in a very simple way, I guess. I had two years of guitar lessons and I didn't have singing lessons. And so I don't, I don't know the theory and I don't understand what I'm doing when I sing or play guitar. Um, and I like the mystery of it. I like that it happens, I don't know how it happens. It feels right, it feels good. Um, and so I, I yeah, I've, I've thought about occasionally having lessons to learn some more of it, but I, I never want to lose that mystery. I don't want to know too much about it. I've got s some friends that have studied music and uh, amazing, proficient musicians. But they they've said that yeah, the feeling is is it changes when you when you just know what you're doing like ma mathematically. So yeah, I'm, I'm keen to not have any lessons and uh, keep the mystery of music alive. And the only one in my head at the moment is when the saints go marching in. I, that's, the, that's the first song I can, can kind of recall hearing, or singing along with at least, yeah. That or Happy Birthday, I guess, that's the other one. <laughs> There's a guy called Natsuki Karai. He's a harmonica player from Japan. He he should be world famous. He is he's one of the best I've ever seen. Documentary on him would be so intriguing. I think I think the world would fall in love with this guy. He's the nicest guy that I've ever met, and a very talented musician. And uh, if cameras were following him and his family as well, he's about to have a second baby, and the first little daughter is is two years old and like playing harmonica and, and drums. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see that documentary. Mike Rosenberg. Yeah, he is, he is a musician. Um, you know, you know Mike Rosenberg, passenger. Yeah. All right. All right.
I think 80% of my fans know me through, through Mike, yeah. Which is amazing, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him, yeah. But he is the funniest guy, like if you've seen him on stage, he's, he's a comedian, but he's, he's just the same off stage. Like we travelled for two or three years together, just the two of us. He develops lots of characters on the road uh, because there's lots of hours of driving, right? And he's, he's developed these personalities that kind of appear from time to time. And uh, if, you, if there was a documentary made in, I'd say, 15 to 20 years' time, I think he potentially could be properly schizophrenic by that time. <laughs> you know I wish you felt the same. Can we say North American? Can we say like, can we include a Canadian? Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to put Neil Young in there. Um, see, I, yeah, I would choose Neil Young, uh, Bob Dylan, Paul Simon, James Taylor, for me, yeah. For me, between inspiration and creating is, it sometimes is, uh, like a, a one year or two year period, I, I'll have a little idea and I'll, I'll be distracted by something else. So I'll get my phone out and quickly record or write lyrics or, or record the little idea. And then I usually come back to that. I try and go to a very isolated place uh, with hopefully no phone reception or internet and uh, go there for a week or two and listen to all these, these little voice memos and, and, uh, and then form them into, into full songs. But I won't know where I'm going till I get there You know I wish you felt the same And maybe I'll find love in San Francisco I can hear a calling out the name now, I don't think it's the best way to go about it because there's ideas in my phone that I don't recall ever, ever recording but it's my voice and my guitar playing, so I know it was me. Um, but there's hundreds of files in there. Yeah. I, I'd like to get better at that and uh, learn to take the time when there's inspiration or, or to make the time. But like touring like this all the time, you're driving eight hours a day, sound checking, uh, doing an interview, playing a show, hanging out with people, sleeping, and it's, uh, I find it difficult to have that idea and, and then put it into a song. Yeah. Still learning, and hopefully always will be. Quitting my job. <laughs> I think I, I, when I quit my job, I defined success for me was to make enough money to keep going. And it's been 10 years now since I quit my job. So I, yeah, 10 years of doing this is, a, is a, a, for me a decent accomplishment. Yeah. Thank you so much for singing.